with this chart here. This shows you what's happening with the U.S. population. The blue line is going to show you the white population, and the gold line is going to show you the minority population between 1960 and 2050. So you see that the lines cross somewhere around 2042 or so. That's when the nation becomes majority minority. The year that we're going to be examining in this report, 2016, uh, people of color collectively represented about 39% of the U.S. population. That's an important statistic, so remember that. It's going to come into play when we start talking about what's happening in the market. So the question we ask in this report, of course, is whose stories are we telling? And what are the trends over time? Historically, much of what we've known about the Hollywood industry has been anecdotal. Um, everyone knows examples of TV shows or movies that do really well, they're diverse, and of course, um, lots of, most of them not being very diverse. Um, and we know about the exclusion of people of color and women over time, um, and we have lots of stories to share. Um, but our report was one of the first to collect comprehensive data to really show over a number of years what's happening in terms of trends. So let me talk a little bit about the data. So for this report, we have 174 films released in 2016. And the way we came up with those films is we took the top 200 films ranked by box office, global box office, and we subtracted out foreign language films, and that left us 174 films. We looked at 1,251 TV shows from the 2015-16 season, and yes, there are that many. If you look at broadcast, cable, and digital platforms, uh, it's scripted as well as reality and other. Uh, we look at lead talent, race, and gender. We look at director, race, and gender. We look at show creator, race, and gender. We look at writer diversity. We look at box office figures, audience demos, and international markets. And we look at household, viewer, and social media ratings. So the good news is that since we released our last report, the 2017 Hollywood Report, last February, and we always release our report the week of Oscars, um, we see quite a bit of progress from year to year in key arenas, 11 key arenas, the film leads, film directors, writers, broadcast scripted leads, cable scripted leads, broadcast reality and other leads, cable reality and other leads, digital scripted leads, broadcast scripted creators, cable scripted creators, and digital scripted creators. The blue um, boxes or cells show you instances of progress from year to year. The yellow cells show you um, instances of us going backwards. In other words, uh, women um, actually lost ground among film directors since the last report. Uh, women lost ground among broadcast scripted leads and among cable scripted leads. The white cells tell you that we were just treading water in those areas. So most of the chart is blue, which is relatively good news, right? The bad news is that in every arena, regardless of the progress we made last year, people of color and women remain woefully underrepresented. All right? And so what we're going to be doing in the balance of this presentation is showing you those trends over time in the various arenas and how those trends relate to the minority share of the population, remember that 39% figure, and the female share of the population, which is a little bit more than 50%. And then we're going to relate all of this to the bottom line and what audiences are demonstrating they're interested in. So let's look at film first. So this first chart is going to show you film leads by race. And the basic setup is going to be the same for each of the charts like this. Um, we're going to be looking at a blue line that's going to show you what's happening with whites <coughs> with respect to film leads. A gold line is going to show you what's happening with people of color with respect to film leads. And the white line is going to show you what's happening with the minority population over time. Um, you should be aware that the minority population is increasing by about a half a percent a year. Something around there, uh, give or take, each year. So the population is becoming more diverse over time. And the question is, what is Hollywood doing relative to that population increasing diversity? So here we see uh, white leads uh, in 2016, 86.1% of the leads in film. People of color, 13.9. And you can see if you look at the population line that we're well below that. So thinking back to that first um, overview slide I showed you, there's a high degree of representation, underrepresentation. In fact, by a factor of nearly three to one. You'd have to triple the minority share to reach proportionate representation among film leads. And you can see over time, the five-year um, period that we looked at, 
Yeah, it's been a little bit of movement, but it's been more or less treading water. There hasn't been any real significant progress. Not the type you might think, given all of the hoopla about you know breakout and milestone films and that type of thing. Let's look at gender, film leads by gender. Again, the blue line is males, the gold line is females. Over time, we see 69.2% in 2012, 68.8% in 2016 actually went down over time. And again, the gap is the gender gap. I mean, if there were no disparities, the two lines would be on top of each other at 50%, or close to 50%. This next chart gives us a breakdown of film roles by race and gender, and we can see that men outnumber women pretty much for every group in terms of film. So we have a gender thing going on within race as well. So you can kind of get a sense of the magnitude of the, of the gender disparities by different racial and ethnic groups. And of course, you see Native Americans are virtually invisible. You don't see them at all in terms of representations. And then you have Latinos, uh, currently the largest um, uh, minority group, um, woefully underrepresented in terms of those numbers in film. Let's look at film directors by race. And again, the same thing, the blue line, the gold line, the white line. So again, we have um, a pretty high degree of underrepresentation, 11% in 2012, up to 12.6%. So I guess you can say there's been a little progress. 2013 was kind of a breakout year. That was the year of the so-called black film. We had 12 Years a Slave, The Butler, et cetera. But the numbers promptly went back down the next year when those films were removed. Uh, so over time, we've seen very little progress. In fact, you'd have to, again, triple uh, the minority share of directors to reach proportionate representation. If you look at film directors by gender, this is the single worst statistic in our entire study, which is why I think it's so um, important that we have Gina prince Bythewood and Alicia Henderson here, um, two women who have worked in, in, in that capacity to kind of talk about their experiences. But in 2016, only 6.9% of the women film directors of those top films, I mean, of the, of the directors of those top, top films were women. And that figure, I mean, it's a little bit you know, better than the 5.8% figure that we saw in 2012, but not much better. In fact, women would have to multiply their share by a factor of more than seven um, to reach proportionate representation among film directors. If we look at film writers by race, and again, we have the same blue, gold, and white lines, again, very little change since the first year, or uh, I'm sorry, the second year we looked at 2012, 7.8% to 8.1%. You'd have to uh, multiply by five um, the people of color share of writers for them to reach proportionate representation. If you look at film writers by gender, again, 13% um, uh, in 2012, 13.8% uh, in 2016. You'd have to multiply um, the, the female share by more than three to reach proportionate representation. Okay, so let's talk about television. In television, we're going to break it down by broadcast, cable, and digital, so we can kind of see some of the differences um, in terms of technology and what's happening. So if we look at broadcast leads by race, we actually see progress, and we see sustained progress over time. This is one of the few bright spots that we point to in the report. Now, mind you, as you can see by looking at the white line, people of color are still underrepresented among leads and have to double their share. But there's been steady progress. In fact, they've quadrupled their share since 2011-12 uh, in this arena. This particular um, chart shows you a, a breakout of all broadcast roles, and we're talking about the top eight roles. Our entire study is based on credits, and we're looking at the order of credits in terms of the lead to the eighth most significant actor in a, in a, in a television show. And we see that whites are right at proportionate representation, roughly 66%, or maybe a little bit over um, proportionate representation, 66% of the top roles. Uh, African Americans are actually overrepresented. 17% of the roles, despite the fact that they're about 13.3% of the population. All other groups are underrepresented. If we look at broadcast leads by gender, there was a period uh, when we first did the study in 2011-12 when women were close to parity with men. Uh, ever since then, it's kind of evened out around um, 38, you know, 37% or so, and there's a bit of a, a gender gap there in terms of broadcast leads. Now, if we look at cable by race, we see uh, by the end of the um, trend here that the 20.2% figure is, is comparable, to, comparable to what you see in broadcast. 
And again, people of color would have to about double um, their cable leads to reach proportionate representation. And here we see all cable roles, again, the top eight credited actors uh, for 2015-16. Um, whites here are overrepresented much more profoundly than they were in broadcast. Um, blacks are right at proportionate representation, 13.3%, and all other groups are um, pretty severely underrepresented. If we look at cable leads by gender, we see um, some progress here for women. In fact, um, in 2015-16, they were approaching parity, not quite there yet, but, but certainly better than what we had seen in the previous years. Now, if you look at digital, um, digital leads by race, we see um, some progress. Um, we have fewer years here, and the reason is um, when we first started the study, there were very few original digital programs, but they've been increasing exponentially every year. Uh, I believe the first year we had 33 shows, we had 116 by 2015 16, and we're going to have a lot more next year and subsequent years. In any event, uh, we're seeing an upward tick that's pretty steady, but again, um, not close to proportional representation. In fact, we again have to triple. Um, minority leads, their share of leads to reach proportional representation.